sky welcome to my channel so today's video is gonna be a get ready with me while i tell you a little bit more about me i never made a video like this i realized and yeah let's get into it i'm gonna start off with palms cream i'm going to work in like two hours it's two and i have to be in at four um i was supposed to go in at two but then my boss told me to come in later so i figured why not make a quick video <laughs> um i made a couple videos on here and never really told you about me so yeah i'm gonna start off with some concealer and this tube is so dried out this is the nars concealer i really need more i'm literally just scraping the bottle at this point um but i'm really bad at like shade matching my concealers so yeah i really need to get on that and get a new one it's like breaking yeah it's time to get a new one i'm just a busy busy girl i never have time i think that's like the last of the concealer i'm gonna get out of this bottle honestly so i'm just gonna blend that out i really want to get a camera because i film every video on my phone but I'm not like really tech savvy, so I don't know how to upload videos onto my computer and shit like that. Like, I really just simply don't know how to do that. I film every video on my phone and I'm constantly running out of storage, which is why I haven't really been like filming a lot of videos lately um i mean there's more reasons too i recently in like august went through a breakup um if you watched some of my other videos you would know i had a boyfriend for a while um i have videos up on here from a trip we went on like two years ago i think it was now which is so crazy to think about but we were together for eight years and in august we broke up so i've just been working on myself and healing but i have so many exciting things coming up i've been keeping myself busy thank god for my friends I really, like, truly don't know what I would do without them, honestly. Um, they've really been here for me so much through this. And, uh, yeah, I'm just so lucky to have such a great support system in my life. Because it took me so long to find that. Um, I used to live in Staten Island, and then after high school I moved here um to Long Island and it took me a while to find like a really good group of friends but I just used the Tower 28 tinted moisturizer which is definitely too light for my face right now I need to get a new one. Actually, I did just get a new one. This one is really good. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I should have used that one, but I want, like, more of a lighter coverage today. Because I'm just going to work. I'm not doing anything too crazy. No one's going to be paying attention to my makeup. But I just blend that out with a brush and then... I blend it with my beauty blender after, so there's no like streaks. And now I'm using this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation Powder. And this just makes my face so smooth all day. It does not move. 
um i was breaking out so bad a couple weeks ago and my skin cleared up i'm so lucky to never have really struggled with acne like that like my face has always just been naturally really clear so thank god for that i've been making coffee at home lately and i've been trying not to spend money on coffee because i spend too much money on coffee which is insane like if you add it up five dollars every single day like that makes me sick so i'm in my making my coffee at home era but there's some days where i literally make it at home and then go into work a little bit later and then i get another one before i go in at like duncan or something which is so bad but if you're a lash check you know we literally live off of coffee but now i'm just using this hula bronzer i've been sick for the past couple days i still am i feel like shit i i'm pretty sure it's only allergies but i'm just so congested i literally cannot breathe i feel so bad for all my clients of course like this week when i get sick is like such a busy week for me i'm like sniffling in their faces and i'm sniffling right now it's just so annoying so i'm so sorry if i'm annoying you right now but yeah i'm just using this hula bronzer to bring life back into my face i cannot wait for summer it's been so shitty out i can't wait to be tan I really thrive in the summer. I'm a summer baby. My birthday is in June, so I'm just so excited. Cannot wait. I have so many exciting trips coming up. I'm going to Florida next month, April 22nd to the 26th with my friends. I can't wait to be on a plane and just not be here. This weather in Long Island has been so all over the place. Like one day it's so nice and so sunny out and then today it's pouring and gross out. And it's just making me not want to do anything. Like it's such lazy weather. I just want to lay in bed all day, but we got shit to do. So now I'm using this Kylie blush. What else can I tell you about me? If you watched the Naked Brothers band when you were younger, you probably know who Nat and Alex Wolf are. I love them. I've loved them since I saw them on Nickelodeon and I always will. They still make music, if you didn't know, and they still have shows sometimes in the city. I wish they had more, but I've only ever gone to their shows in New York. And I've met so many amazing friends through them. We're in a group chat together on Instagram, and we talk every single day. I literally talk to them more than anyone else honestly i love them so much i have friends all over the world that i've met through them and it's just like amazing i love them so much so i'm meeting up with two of my friends um in september because nat and alex are performing at a music festival so i'm so excited it was such an impulsive decision to decide to go but it's gonna be a great time and i'm so excited to see everyone and reunite with them and yeah it's gonna be the best time ever i cannot wait but i'm gonna do my brows off camera because i really have to focus on them so they don't look like shit and i'll be back the best my brows are getting 
whatever I really don't care do they look even probably not I don't I really just have no energy to continue to fix them and that's it so I'm just gonna set them oh my god this thing is so hard to open this is the benefit 24 hour brow setter I always have to open it like this with my shirt I can't fucking do it there we go and there's like barely anything in here I need to get a new brow gel too comment down below if you're watching this what are good brow gels and concealers because I really need to just get new products it's time it's that time of the year um I have like so much to say but I'm almost done with my makeup it really doesn't take me that long to do so I'm seeing Nat and Alex in September it's gonna be so much fun can't wait I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara now. Whenever I do my mascara, I get it all over my eyelids. And I don't know how to avoid that. I really don't think you can. But this mascara, like, I love it. It's so good. It's not, like, clumpy or anything. It just does not fucking come off. It stays on for, like, three days. Which, like, obviously, because it's waterproof, but, like, the hell? Literally got it on both my eyelids and my nose. I really hope I have a Q-tip in here. Is there makeup on this? I'm using this. I really don't care. I literally always lose my train of thought. It's so annoying, but... Yeah, I'm just cleaning this up real quick. Don't mind me. Have you guys seen the videos on TikTok of girls just like walking in the city and getting punched in the face? Excuse me, that is terrifying. I used to love... This world is like so sad now. I used to love going to the city. I'm just like trying new places to eat and stuff, walking around, and I still do. I love the city. I love going there. Um, but being a girl in this world is terrifying. Terrifying. Can't go anywhere alone. I can't walk down the street in Manhattan without getting rocked in the face, like without having to be worried about that you have to be so cautious and aware of your surroundings everywhere you go not just there but oh my god that is terrifying i saw this one girl on tiktok yesterday she had like a big ass knot on her head from getting punched in the face fucking kidding me I don't know if I should blow my hair out again or just leave it because I blew it out yesterday and I feel like it still looks good. And I slept with it in a, like a bun and everything. I swear to God, silk scrunchies. This is my girl. Does not dent your hair at all. Like it looks like I just blew it out. Still looks cute. But I'm done with my makeup now. Before work, I'm probably just gonna line my lips and put on like some lip gloss or something. But if you watch this all the way through, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos because there will for sure be more content coming. But I am out of breath right now because I'm sick and can barely breathe. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.